Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yay! In the chair tonight is John Bergman. Hey! So, John, welcome aboard to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? No problem. Uh, Where are your manners, Frank? Um, uh, they're on the millionaire podiums. Hey! Now, John, here's how it goes. You are 15 questions away from $1 million. The rules are simple. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. Once you reach the $1,000 or $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. Now you have three life lifeguards to help you along the way. 50-50, where the computer will randomly take away two of the wrong answers, leaving the correct answer and one other wrong answer. Ask the audience, which can hold the computer audience and the Discord audience to see what they think the right answer is. Finally, you can phone a friend. For our friends, at and will help us get anyone anywhere in the country to see if they can help you out. And then you can ask one of our Discord people to see if they know the answer. Oh, I know. So with that said, are you ready? I'm ready for it. Then let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with John Bergman. Yay! So John, question number one for $100. What is the capital of the United States? New York, San Francisco, Washington, Washington D.C., Chicago. Yes, indeed. Washington, D.C. for $100. There we go. Nation's uh, capital. Of there. Here we go for $200. Which word can go with Smith, Magic, and Ward to make three other words? White, Black, Gold, Lock. That's right, it's black for $200. $300. Which of these fruits does not have a pit in the middle? Nectarine, date, cherry, pineapple. Pineapple is right for $300. $500, John. Which of these puts Snow White to sleep? Poison Apple, Sleeping Pill, Poison Pear, Bedtime Story. Well, it, it was a Poison Apple. Poison Apple is right for $500. $1,000, John. Which surname connects stars Henry, Peter, Jane, and Bridget? Barrymore, Fonda. Russell, Ford. Excuse me, it's Fonda. Yes, sir, Fonda for one thousand dollars. Well, you're on the roll here. Then we go for two thousand dollars. Take a look. All right. Which of these Beatles songs was also a movie starring the Fab Four? A Hard Day's Night, Love Me Do, Eleanor Rigby, Penny Lane. Oh, but you're, you're asking this question to... I'm sorry, what did you say? I said you're asking this to a Beatles fan. It's A, A Hard Day's Night. No answer. <laughs> well, lucky me. You're right for $2,000. thousand dollars John water is constituted from hydrogen and what other element nitrogen oxygen carbon helium oxygen final answer got it for four thousand dollars here we 
Here it comes for $8,000. Which singer's concert in Manchester, England was rudely interrupted by a terrorist attack in May 2017? Taylor Swift, Tori Kelly, Miley Cyrus, Ariana Grande. I think it was Ariana Grande following, sir. Right once again for eight thousand dollars. Seven away from the million, you still have all your lifelines left. Here it is for sixteen thousand. What was the name of John Travolta's character in the 1977 film Saturday Night Fever? Tony Manero, Danny Zuko, Joey Pezzotto, Dario Mariani. Okay, but it, it was A. Tony. I, I didn't hear the last name, but it, it was A. Final answer. Wow. John, you are on a roll and you're still keeping it going for $16,000! Six away from the million. Still have your, your lifelines left. Here it is for a guaranteed $32,000! Kate Winslet, the leading lady of what 1997 film, once had her hit single What If released in 2001. As good as it gets. Anastasia. Titanic. My best friend's wedding. Why did you say Kate Win? I'm sorry, say it again? Did you say Kate Win? Yeah, Kate Winslet. In that case, maybe it is Titanic. Final answer. Back up the money truck, John. You just won $32,000! Wow. My man, you're on a roll here. Here it is for $64,000. Prior to becoming an escapologist, what was Harry Houdini's profession? Trapeze artist. Lion Tamer, Clown, Ringmaster. Ringmaster. Uh, excuse me, but can you repeat those choices again, please? Okay. Trapeze Artist, Lion Tamer, Clown, or Ringmaster? Alright, I am going to have to use one more. Okay, and I'm going to use, um, ask the audience. Okay, audience, John, you need your help. Discord audience just to this. I think he was uh, I think he was a trapeze artist. Okay, they're saying trapeze artist, John. I wanna go for it? Okay, now if I'm right about it, this is a sixty four thousand dollar question, right? Yeah, even if you get it wrong you don't lose anything. Now the Discord audience is saying trapeze artist. Would you like to make that your final answer? And to be honest with you, yeah, let's do a trapeze tra artist, excuse me, final My gosh, you got it right! $64,000! Thank you, thank you, uh, everybody. I appreciate it. Thank you. I did not know. Four questions, two lifelines, $125,000. On average, which of these animals has the longest lifespan? Cow, pig, goat, horse. 
longest lifespan? Yeah, the longest lifespan. Okay, but and the choices are cow, pig, goat, and horse. Yes, yes. Um, but I'm going to have to let's... Let's go for 50-50. Okay. Computer take away two of the wrong answers. Cow or horse? You almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I like to do that to my contestants sometimes. Here it is for a quarter million dollars. All right. From which country did the United States purchase the Virgin Islands? Britain, Spain, Denmark, Morocco. Oh man, everybody! <clears throat> Excuse me, but you ready for this? This is my final answer. Denmark. Final answer. And you just won a quarter million dollars! Awesome job you're doing, John. You're two questions away from one million dollars. You still have that one lifeline to phone a friend. Here it is for a half million dollars. Which star of the critically acclaimed 1995 film Apollo 13 is the Capcom for the Mission Space Attraction in Epcot at Walt Disney World? Tom Hanks, Gary Sinise, Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxton. <laughs> oh, man, I got to do this, sir, but I got a fun friend. Okay. So what do I do? But I pick somebody from the uh, from the Discord. Hold on, the phone friend thinks it's B, Gary Sinise. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know he had programs to do that. But yeah, we can oh. check with the Discord audience too. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna type in the question and the answers for everyone in this Discord audience.
wrong you lose two hundred eighteen thousand oh, dollars no. so are you willing to trust the phone a friend make that your final answer Right, don't you think, Marty? I, I think so. Uh, I know, I know, I've, I know I've seen about the thirteen before. I know I've heard about the uh, uh, mission space attraction a little bit. I, I don't, I don't think it's Tom Hanks. Although he is the main character in the movie, I don't think it's him. All these, all these four are stars in the, the film Power Thirteen. But I think it's the Gary Sneeze. That's that's what I think. So do you trust Marty John? You know. Oh man, I'm sorry, I lost it. Would you like to go for it? Make that your final answer? Uh, 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 well, I'm almost stopping the money. What was the, what was the answer? Wait. Uh, wait. Marty, do you think John should go for it? Hmm. I mean, I mean that's a big risk. I mean. Yeah, but it could be right. He could. He could be. He could be right. But then again, it could. It could be. It could be wrong. Exactly. And that's like a two. Thousand dollar drop. So does he? Does he have? Does he have any lifelines left? I've got no, none. but the phone a friend thinks it's B. Mm -hmm. This makes it even more interesting. Then mm. this is tough. I mean, I honestly, I honestly think this is very tough. Uh, honestly, I don't. I don't know why. This is, honestly, this is really hard, but I think I, I mean, I, look, I get it, $218,000 is a, a big, big loss, but I have seen a part of 13, although I haven't seen in a couple of years, and I think I may have seen a clip of the, uh, the attraction somewhere, it's been years since I've seen it, though. But I think, I think, if I remember correctly, it was B. Yeah, I, All right. I, I'm going to stick no, here. No. Alright, you know, well, I'm probably, shooting, I'm probably shooting both of my feet off on this one, but I'm going to change to my mind. I'm going to go on ahead. Let's do it. B, Gary Sinead's final answer. <laughs> Could have had two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You could have walked away with it. But you just want a half million dollars. You're in on Walmart. All right, Marty. John. This is it. The big one for one million dollars. Here it comes. Prior to the 2017 DreamWorks animation film The Boss Baby. Actors Alec Baldwin and Tobey Maguire did voice work together in what 2001 film?
Cats and Dogs, Monsters Incorporated, Shrek, Atlantis the Lost Empire. I know this one. I know this one. Okay. I, I'll tell you one thing about it. Yeah, I think I know this one. So, you know, as crazy as this may sound, I'm on. As my final decision. Everybody, <clears throat> hey, cats and dogs, fall. Is that your final answer? My final answer. You just won one million dollars! <laughs> Remember that movie Cats and Dogs? But it wasn't. It wasn't. Sh wasn't Shrek wow. that starred uh, Eddie Murphy? Wasn't Monsters Inc? I believe that came out in two thousand two. No, so no, no. It came out in late two thousand one. But that's not the point. Oh, we have ourselves another point. millionaire, and his name is hey, John hey. Bergman. Give it up for it, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Wow. Well, we're gonna try to give away the million dollars again next time from youtube everybody good night